Then the experiment has gone terribly wrong. I fear you may be trapped on the archipelago, but don't panic. The standing stones should be nearby. With them, and some luck, you may still be able to escape. Listen very carefully, and you might just survive. I am afraid pieces of the device are now scattered across the islands. They became quite hot during the experiment, so perhaps you could look for the smoke. Bring any you find back to the standing stones, then we should be able to get you home. I'm dreadfully sorry, madam, but this does mean postponing dinner preparations. I do hope you remember to eat something. You must try to keep your strength up. Perhaps some tea and biscuits from one of the nearby houses? The residents won't mind because they're... Well, they're not at home. Oh, and do be careful, madam. You are being hunted. Good God, sir, you're being hunted. What's going on, guys? Should I do the whole playthrough in that voice? Dear God, madame. In fact, I, I did choose the madame instead of the sir. But, uh, yeah, sir, you're being hunted. It's an alpha game. Actually, I, I typically don't buy these, uh, these early access games on Steam, but, man, this has been on my radar for a very long time, and I figure, well... Why the hell not? Uh, someone had sent me some Steam dollars, and uh, thank you very much for that. Uh, and so I ah, use those nice credits to uh, you can observe your pursuers while so, keeping uh, a yeah, safe distance. Props, uh, so this is a uh, a survival. I don't want to say horror, but I, I guess it could be horror, uh, d depending on I don't know uh, how, what you feel is horror. If you feel Robots with red eyes is horror, then by God, it is horror. But it is definitely survival, and uh, as you had heard in the cutoff intro, because I didn't catch the beginning part of it. You found one. Return that Hold on. to the standing stones and leave it there. You'll be one step closer. There to you home. go. You're gonna try to get all the standing stones. We're gonna put it right here in this little, uh, this little pillar. This little phallic. Splendid symbol on the land. Careful finding the next one. Save our progress. I've not played this at all. In fact, I just got done downloading it. Believe it or not, it's only like 24 minutes to download it off Steam. Well, with my connection, anyway. Uh, usually games take uh, a few hours, but uh, it's kind of neat. Uh, so far, I it's it took a little while. It took about four or five minutes to actually generate the map in which we are on now, and uh, apparently there's five islands, and I guess we're on the southernmost island, and uh, we have to get these fragments and put it on the monoliths and try to escape the islands without being shot at and killed. So, yes, there's my little English accent there, which is probably, yeah, I'm just going to apologize to uh, to everybody in the UK. But I'm excited. I mean, this is a great little game. British theme, so we're going to go ahead and play it. Uh, we might make this a playthrough. We'll see how far we get and how difficult it is. It looks like there's something Ah, oh, large traps. There. Oh, and if you find anything edible, don't look at it. I think I hear a robot, though. I think I do hear a hunter, as they're called. And I wonder if he's right around the corner. So we will just kind of peeky, give a little peeky. There's a balloon guy over there. Hello, peeky. Hello. I don't know. Let's check this door out. Fairly simple. As I said, it is an alpha. It even says alpha 0 0.34518 work in progress. Uh, they're going to be adding a lot of stuff. Ooh, red mushrooms. Oh my god, mushrooms. <laughs> um, but... <laughs> Wow, that robot is close. I'm suspecting that he is behind that house over there. Oh, oh shit, he spotted me. 
We gotta book it. Let's book it. It would be tragic to die within the first six minutes of this walkthrough, this playthrough. Absolutely tragic. Hide, let's hide. Oh, I see the little visibility meter down there with the eyeball is letting me know how well hidden I am. As with my health and vitality, uh, we have binoculars, which we picked up off the first hunter corpse. I don't know how he died or what he did to get there, but he is dead near the monolith. And uh, yeah, I'm losing some vitality here. I guess it keeps on depleting. I guess we'll figure that out. Let's try to uh, let's eat something, shall we? Eat a totsu. Let's eat these. What's it? Rock stone? Can we throw that? Let's throw it. Let's eat these. Oh, oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. All right, mushroom. Oh, mushroom's good. Oh. Well, now we are tripping balls. Oh shit. It certainly does remind me of college. Absolutely. Oh. <laughs> okay, so rotten eggs, not a good thing to consume. It lowers vitality and red toadstool mushrooms, as suspected. A trip of some balls. So, yes, exciting. I'm liking this game already. Uh, I, I'm suspecting that they will improve on the textures and, and graphic quality of the game. As for an alpha gamer, it, which I'm very pleased actually. It's working fairly well. I have not hit any bugs. Um, actually, no, I have not hit any bugs. In fact, I was just trying to get Red Faction 2 to play on Steam. And um, I had hit a tremendous amount of bugs with that. And you never know what sometimes what you're going to buy on Steam and how buggy it's going to be, especially with those older games. Uh, and, of course, I've heard horror stories with these early access games. But uh, um, from what I read in the forums on Steam, this is a, a pretty pretty substantial alpha build. It's, uh, it's, it's pretty, uh, pretty good from what I've heard. Or red, I should say. I'm just taking a sip here of my kickstart. That's how I like to start my morning. With about 500 calories and... There are a number of islands uh -oh. in the archipelago. Each of them is likely to have fragments of the device for you to collect. Try not to get lost. Will do. We will save our progress here. We're just going to try to save as much as possible. I don't know if I can swim, so I'm not even going to attempt it. Although I, I kind of do want to just like jump in and and just go for it. But if I mean it's standard, I like it's a British Isles. That's uh, apparently the environments or what they're trying to go for. I've never been to Britain. I've never been to the UK, so I wouldn't know. My wife has. She has. She has pictures. She's been to Ireland as well. Uh oh, what do we got there? Some smoke. Let's let's whip out our binoculars here. Oh, all right. Uh, binoculars, you know, a uh, little lackluster in the binocular department there, and not much of a view. But I guess it it uh, does have a purpose. We're gonna go over here and check on this. See if it's a piece of the fragment that we need. I'm suspecting it is. Not too many hunters just yet, so. Oh. That's what it's doing. That's what it's doing. Alright, I'll stop. I'll stop with the nonsense. So. Ah, uh, the environment is really nice. A lot of great um, survival horror games have come out recently. Or that will be coming out. Uh, one in particular that I'm looking forward to. And that I will probably do a playthrough. Or a at least a, a, like a first look. Oh! Hunters! Three of them, or two of them. How many? I don't know. Let's take a peeky around this here. Looks to be three. Three hunters. All right. Binoculars. Yes. My suspicions are confirmed, sir. Let's, uh... You can't go that way. We will get torn up. And we have no gun just yet, so... We're going to head a different direction and try to go around them. Uh, we're going to try to get back to the monolith and uh, put this fragment piece in. Now, 
I wonder if that guy's still there. Is he? Do I don't see red? Oh, yeah, I do. He's over there. He's still near the town, which kind of sucks, because I did miss out on a couple of buildings there. So as I was saying, uh, some good survival harm uh, games. Um, Outlast. Uh, you guys have probably seen the pre-order on Steam. I'm really looking forward to that. It's supposed to be scary as hell. Oh my goodness, there's more hunters over there too. And these hunters are robots, if you didn't catch that yet. Or if I didn't say it. I might have said that. And I don't know what's up with these wisps. But I think they're going to uh, be the death of me since they light up a little bit of the area that they cover. Hmm... Let's see. We're just going to have to go southbound, and then we're going to have to shoot over. And, uh, yeah, we're just going to go from there. So Atlas looks to be a great survival horror game. Looks to be scary as all hell. And uh, I do like those particular games. So we will definitely take a look at that. And I believe that comes out next Tuesday. I think that's September 4th. To be honest, I don't know. I've lost track of the days here. Um, and entropy videos. I haven't done an entropy video in like eight days. That has to be done. It has to be done. I'm selling off all that typo, but I will talk about that in that video. What is this? What is this structure? Interesting. Look at that. Hmm. Let's cover. Let's take a little cover behind this rock here. This boulder. No hunters. Interesting though. We will have to go over there later. But first, oh, halo. Halo, I said halo. Open up. Moldy bread. Oh, skull of the sheep. The skull of the sheep? Oh, a rat. Let's eat it. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, my God. That almost killed me. Negative nine. That's not good. Note to self do not eat dead rats. What do we do with dead rats? Can we cook them and then eat them? Do I do we really really want to? What if they were poisoned first? The will of the wisp. Tap tap for one mana. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Have you guys ever played Magic: The Gathering? Um. I, I think I said this. I think I, I think I talked about this story once before, but oh, splendid. splendid! But do be careful finding the next. Okay, we'll do seven more on this island, so we're gonna save our progress. Um, I I used to be a Magic: The Gathering tournament player. In fact, one of my buddies from ch one of my childhood high school buddies back in the days, back in the I guess mid to late nineties, um, he was actually uh, on the pro tour. Magic the Gathering, and he was this exceptional player. And, um, yes, Willow the Wisp used to be, I don't know, I think it used to be a black or a death card, a black mana, mana, whatever you want to. Can I drag that over there? How do I use a rock? How do I throw it? Do I throw it? I don't know. But there's nothing else there to use, so let's go scour this town. But Willow the Wisp, yes, you tap it, and it produces a mana for you. In fact, it might be a blue card. Someone Google it and prove me wrong. But um, yeah, he, uh, my buddy, he used to, uh, he used to win tournaments, win cash prizes. He used to have all the moxies and all those alpha cards. Alpha and Beta cards that used to be worth a shit ton of money, and actually, I think they still are. I sold my cards back in like 2005, and uh, I had an absolute ton. In fact, it helped pay a lot of my college, so. Ammunition for Revolver. Oh, sweet! A delicious local stout. I hope it's Guinness. Or Harp. Oh, God, Guinness. Oh, my God. How come there's no hunters here? It's... It almost feels the way I'm, I'm getting away with murder. Chocolate biscuits? Yes, please. I'm going to take a stone, too. More ammunition. Oh, damn. Look at, all these, look at all these bullets I'm getting here. 
a pipe and tobacco. Oh my god, I was, you know, it's funny I, that pops up. And I guess it would in a, a kind of a, a British environment game for a gentleman. Jack and the Robot Killer, part one. I will read that on my free time. Um, yes, pipe and tobacco. I was just talking to someone yesterday at work. I'm like, you know what you never see, like, completely out of the blue. I'm like, you know what you never see is someone smoking a pipe. I never see anybody smoking pipe and pipe tobacco. I actually, I like the smell of, uh, let's, let's get rid of this. Oh, discard, right click. Um, I like the smell of pipe tobacco. Actually, I think it's it's kind of nice. It's kind of nice. If uh, if I wasn't allergic to tobacco smoke, I would probably smoke a pipe. Regular, you know, regular tobacco. Here we go. Back back to the monolith. <laughs> to hand in our well one fragment. There it is. Uh oh, balloon. Balloon in the distance. Scour in the area. I think the question is, is can I make it to the monolith, put in the fragment, and then get out of there before it gets in that area? Because it looks like it's coming. Oh, it's so ominous. Yes, yeah, we could do this. Easy. A few more of those, and we can activate the device. Sweet. This is kind of cool. I mean, it's, it's fairly easy right now. I, I hope it gets a little harder, actually. Um, but I'm sure we'll get there. It's going easy on me because I only got a couple fragments. Let's check out this, this structure and see what the hell it is. Check it out. But, uh, yeah, the whole pipe thing. I was, we're, I'm playing a bit of Lotro with my brother, and uh, I'm going to do a... a a video on it because it is a free to play and why not um, but you could grow pipe weed and then smoke it I know you're not used to preparing your own meals madam but I'm sure you can master roasting game on an open wild farm. game and raw meat I wonder if that's that the rat smoke can be seen for miles however so do be quick. Oh, shit. okay um, yeah, I, in fact, in case you guys were wondering, I did not switch to sir. I stayed as madame. So, <laughs> I don't know why. I, I, I guess I didn't see the option on the, the title screen or the menu screen. Hmm. Alright. Let's just head this way. I know we just came from here, but we have to go over this way anyway, because there's not much the other way. This is where we got the other fragment. The rock is still glowing. Mm-hmm. Okay. I do believe, yes, smoke. I don't see any hunters, and there's a boat out in the distance there. Holy smokes. We are cruising. Oh, take all. I should just hit the take all button. Jesus. All right. We're going to head down to this boat, and we are going to save game. If you guys uh, like this, uh, leave a comment down below if you want to see more. Um, I'm definitely willing to uh, continue this as a playthrough until we die. So uh, thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video.